We have a lot going on in today's video. First of all, welcome to the channel. Thank you all so much for being here. If you're new, my name is Chris. This is my savings challenge video. So first off, this is September 1st. And what that means is I am doing for the month of September, a no sinking fund September. So what that means, if you're new to my channel is I am not able to stuff my savings challenges as often as I would like. So every quarter I devote that month only to my savings challenges. So for the month of September, I will be cash stepping savings challenges only and not focusing on my sinking funds for the months. Hopefully by doing that, I can complete some of my challenges and get caught up. I will also do other videos that's about savings challenges. Someone requested that I do a video on how to make scratch all savings challenges. So be on the lookout for that. Secondly, today we are going to do our pick a number. So you guys know when I do my 52 week reverse challenge, I always ask you guys to pick a number. So we're going to see if we have a lucky winner from that today. And then you guys can pick the number for the next video. In my last video, my cash stuff in my YouTube video, I like to support other channels and I ask you guys to vote down below. I want to give away a hundred dollars and I ask you guys, should we give it to one person? two people or four people. So I'm going to reveal the vote and who we're going to give that money to today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I am cash stuffing $350 into my savings challenges today. This is one of my favorite videos to record. I love it so much. So let's see how much money we got here. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 93. 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 350. Let's go. All right, so before we get started with the cash stuffing and my savings challenges, let's take a look at what you guys voted on, on who I should support with my supers buy me a coffee challenge here. And I would just like to say, this is why I love this community so much. I offered one winner $100, two winners $250 prizes, and four winners $25 prizes. I asked you guys all to vote. And you got this community... This community is just such a, just a warm, giving, selfless community. No one voted that one winner should get $100. It was all about sharing the love. And I love that. So the most votes I got was for four winners to receive a $25 um, donation. So what I did was, and what this envelope represents is me giving back. You guys support my channel. So I like to support you and support other channels. So based off the comments and the feedback from my last video, I went through my comments to see who was a budgeter and who was either monetized or had buy me a coffee. And I picked four people. And here are the four um, people that I picked right here. So congratulations. I will be sending over you a buy me a coffee or a super thing. So be on the lookout. And thank you guys so much for participating and voting. All right. First up, we are going to cash stuff my scratch the month away. This savings challenge goes towards my emergency fund. And so we are going to do the month of August. So let's see. Let's find August here. Here we go. So we need to cash up 20, 40, 50, 60 dollars. Let me go ahead and grab that now. And here we go. 20, 40, 60. If anyone is interested in this savings challenge bundle, I do sell this on my shop and it will come if you want. You can get it with just the savings challenges or you can get the bundle with the envelopes, the monthly tabs, the savings challenge and the binder. All right. So that is August. Now we're going to it's okay. I, I was looking at, well, I got it sideways, but it's okay. So now what I'm going to do is scratch off the month of September. So I'll know when I come back for the next video, how much I need to cash up. So hold on one sec. Oh, so I didn't come to play for September. So we need to do 20, 40, 60, $80 for September. This is why I scratched this in advance because I I'm gonna lie, I would be a little upset if I did this on the fly and had to um, scramble together $80, but this is why you do it in advance. So my next video, I will bring back $80 to cash stuff for the month of September. I love this challenge. All right, next up, we're gonna keep cash stuffing my emergency funds and we are gonna focus on my 2024 challenge. I'm gonna try to get my challenges caught up. This is why I do the no sinking funds month. So let's do our 2024 challenge here. And this is the challenge. Let me grab my stickers. 
And today I am going to do one, two, three. I'm gonna do three um, circles here to try to get this row completed. That's gonna be a total of $72. I love this challenge. By the time I finished shaving with this challenge, I would have saved $600. So let me put my stickers on there and grab $72. And for those of you who are new to my channel, I always save my savings challenges for the whole year. And then at the end of the year, I count everything up to see how much I was able to save. And I like to wait to the end of the year to count it up because that just motivates me to show that you can save it. You can save it. So um, $72. Let's grab that really quickly. 20, 40, 60, 70, 71, 72. All right. 20, 40, 60, 70, 71. Yep. So you'll see at the end of the year, I'll see how much I was able to save by um, saving with saving challenges. And we'll see how much I am going to deposit into my emergency fund. It's always fun. It's always a fun, my favorite video to record at the end of the year. All right, next up is my 52 week reverse challenge. Let me grab it. Let's see if we have a winner from last time. Drum roll, please. All right, it looks like we have a winner. The lucky winner was number 32. And they, they only have one person who picked um, number 32, and that was Joy Budgeting Co. So congratulations, Joy. I will be getting in touch with you. You won $10. So everyone else, we're going to go ahead and pick for next week. Let me go ahead and scratch off the numbers I'm going to do today. So let's go ahead and make sure we color in 32, which Joy chose last time. And then I'm also going to do 40. So today I am going to cash stuff a total of $72 into this challenge. I love this. I love this 52 week reverse challenge. This was made by Syndicat Budgets. You guys make sure you go and check her out. Check out her shop. I just, this is just so much fun. Just a fun way of doing the 52 week challenge. So here's a look at the remaining numbers. Go ahead and pick your numbers for next week. Good luck, everyone. Mm -hmm. So that is 20, 40, 60, 70, 71, 72. That is going to go in my 52-week reverse. Just so much fun. I love saving challenges. It's just, so, they're just motivating. And I, and I don't do them um, more often as I would like, but I do have other priorities that I take care of. And so that's why I'm not able to do saving challenges as much. So that's why I try to devote at least one month out of the quarter to focus on saving challenges. And it really does help and it's so much fun. All right, so that is all the saving challenges that pertain to my emergency fund. So let's get into, am I doing anything? Yeah, let's get into family and home. I think I'm cash stuffing for my nieces and nephews. This is for my nieces and nephews. I have a total of seven now. And so this is just money that I wanna save for them, you know, in the event that they need something. So today, I will be putting away $20 for my nieces and nephew fund. How many nieces and nephews do you guys have? I need a pen. There you go. Just put a little dot there. I knew that pen was going to be blue. I knew that pen was going to be blue. <sighs> anyway. Okay, anyway. So, we're going to put $20 in here today. So, now in this um, challenge, we have 20 40 60 80 $100. And the goal is to save 400 So that's a nice little amount to save for your nieces and nephews. Especially the younger ones. All they want to do is go eat and go buy stuff off Roblox. Okay, I will be doing my um, rainy day fund. This is for my appliances. This is just to save up to have emergency fund money in case you need it for appliances. Knock on wood. Um, so today I am going to do two sunshines, which is $15. So let me color that in and then we're going to cash it up $30. Okay, so let's do, that's $20, $30 into our rainy day fund. And again, this is just, you know, you never know. I was like, I should start, a, I was like, I should have an emergency fund for appliances. So here you go. So that is it for my family and home section. Now let's get into my self-care section. You guys know me, I love Bath and Body Works and I save for two of their major sales of the year. So the first one is the semi-annual sale. I've already saved up for that. I had the money saved up for that and I think we have money left over. So now it's time to save for the candle sale that comes up every December. So this is a freebie saving challenge that I have. If anyone is interested in it, um, send me an email and let me know and I will send you a copy of it. It is a word scramble. So if you do want to participate in this with us, look away at the answers right now. Um, our last 
last word was 10 off 40. So hopefully you guys found that. And this month's word is the word candles. So go ahead, find the word candle, make your contribution to your envelope. This is such a fun challenge to do together. And like I said, if you want a copy, make sure you send me an email and I will send you a copy. It is free. So today our word is candles. I'm going to go ahead and put $25 in for the word candle. Candles, candles with an S. And like I said, we had money left over from the last time. So this is what I had left over from the last sale. I didn't go crazy. And we are putting in 25. This is why it's so important to save for the things that you want. Save for the things that you want so you don't have to go into debt for them. So let's see. Now, what I normally do is I get a gift card with Fetch by scanning my receipts. So if you guys don't have Fetch, here's my code um, on the screen. If you sign up, you'll get points and I'll get points. And what you do is you scan your receipts for free gift cards. And I always use my Fetch points for Bath and Body Works. Now, I used my gift card the last time, so I'm saving up now for a new gift card for December. But with that being said, in the envelope, I have 50, 100, 150, 170, 180, 190, 195, $200. This is plenty. This is plenty, but if you know, like I know about that candle sale, you can go crazy. Oh, my Shopify counter just went off. I just had a sale. I was like, what was that? But if you know, like I know, you can go crazy in that candle sale. I go crazy. I still got candles from the last um, December challenge. If y'all can see this candle that's burning right here, it's a um, Christmas candle because I'm trying to get them all used, but it's such a fun experience, such a fun time. All right, I think that is all of my challenges in this binder. Yeah, because I'm going to do my miscellaneous um, challenges next time. So let's get ready to cash stuff my mini self-care binder. And here is my mini self-care binder. If anyone is interested in this, I do sell it on my shop. Now, you will get five savings challenges. So let me tell you what all you get. You'll get five mini savings challenges, the binder, the dashboard, and then you'll get um, five envelopes to go with it too, five mini envelopes. And it comes with labels. Isn't this just adorable? This is just something for you to fit in your purse, in your wallet to save for yourself. Now, I only have four um, challenges in my binder because one of the challenges that goes in here is a candle challenge and since I'm doing Bath and Body Works I didn't need two um, candle challenges. Today we are going to stuff this binder so first we're going to start off with shopping. Shopping is going to get two dollars and you guys if you know me I just think self-care is so important. I always say you know we weren't put here just to pay bills right. We've got to save for ourselves. We got to take care of ourselves so, and the best way to do that is saving up front for the things that you want. And then you don't have to worry about feeling bad about it because you saved the money. All right, so in our shopping, we have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18 dollars. Not bad. Speaking of shopping, they have been blowing my emails up with Labor Day, Labor Day sales. I'm like, back off. I ain't buying nothing. All right, next up is our nail challenge. I am going to do nine dollars in here today. I'm actually going to get my nails done today. One, two, three. Getting your nails done. I I don't know about y'all but comment down below when you get your nails done it is one of the most satisfying experiences you feel so good about yourself and even if you can't go to the salon to get your nails done this is the purpose of this challenge to save slowly by the time you finish this challenge you would have saved 75 dollars even if you can't go to the salon and you do them do them yourselves you still feel good about you still feel good about yourself like making sure your nails look nice so i just Oh my God, I got Mark on my hand. That's ugly. I just think that's just so important to do things that make you feel good. And you don't have to spend a lot of money to do it. So we're going to put $9 in here. Let's see, one, two, okay. So that's five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'm going to have to, again, pretty soon, probably do a condensing. So I don't have all these dollar bills in here. Uh, 20. Five. Okay, so let's see. In our nail challenge, we have 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Almost there. Almost there. That's not envelope so cute. Look at that. Look at it. Is it shimmering? Guys, make sure you check out Gina if you're not following her already. She's so talented. She just has the cutest stuff that she sells and makes too. So please make sure you check her out. She makes these labels for me and I just love them. All right, Vacay. Vacay is getting $20. Yeah, 
Vacay is getting twenty dollars each. Passport is worth four. So that what is that? Eight, sixteen, twenty. So one, two, three, four. We are going on vacation next month. And so this will be like little pocket money to spend. Now, you are more than welcome to double up when you get this challenge. Double up on it. Do whatever you want. But this is just a nice slow way to save for the things that you want. So we are going to put, let's put two tens in here. Okay. I think... And I think sometimes we forget when we go on vacation, it's not just about the airfare, you know, the hotel, rental car. You got to have a little money for walking around, eating, souvenirs, you know, shows. If you're going to see shows and all that stuff, all that stuff adds up. But having a little pocket money around, um, you know, the last time we went to Vegas, you know, if you go on the strip, they always entertain and you got to have a little money, you know, in case you want to put you know stuff in people's tip little um buckets and all that stuff this is the kind of stuff you need a little you know a little money for to do that for so anyway my vacay envelope has 20 40 50 60 65 70 71 2 3 4 5 6 76 dollars All right, and then lastly, this is a $500 savings challenge. It is not for an emergency fund or anything like that. This is for me. I am saving $500 for myself to see if I can do it. And when I do finish it and there is no rush, it will be for something that I want. It won't be towards a bill. It ain't going into no emergency fund, hopefully. It ain't going towards my car. Ooh, let me... Let me quiet down in case, you know, our cars be listening to us. It ain't going towards none of that. It's going to whatever I want to spend it on so that that way I have the money and I don't feel guilty about it. So I am going to put $40 in here today. Each envelope is worth 20. Okay, so this should be 40, 20, 30, 35, and 40. Like I say, we got to save for the things we want and that includes saving for ourselves. We got to invest in ourselves. It just helps with your mental too. All right, so, oh yeah, this, this is binder is getting fat. So now I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Look at that, $140 I've saved already. I started using this the first of the year. Take your time. Take your time. There is no rush. $140 already saved, and I started the first of the year. So that lets me know I can do it. And that lets you know you can do it with anything that you save for. Just take your time and do it and don't rush. All right, so that is the end of my savings challenge video. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching. Again, thank you so much for your support. If anybody wants to join my No Sinking Fund September, don't forget to put the hashtag in your videos. It is all about the savings challenges. And people ask me, what does that mean when you do No Sinking Fund September? Does it mean not doing your savings, not doing your, you know, your investments? No, it does not mean that. OK, what it means is for me anyway, is that these savings challenges that I just did um, today, I'm not able to do them often. So I want to focus on them for the month. But after everything else is taken care of. So my sinking funds um, binders that includes just things that I'm saving for, that's priority. I put it to the side so I can focus on saving challenges. But if you're saving for something important, don't stop doing that. You know, this is just a way to focus on those saving challenges. You don't get to stuff all of the time. All right. So again, thank you guys so much for your support. And guess what? I will see you next week. Bye.